E aí, meu povo, bem-vindo de volta para o Final Fantasy Tô aqui no esconderijo para mais três missões. Eu acho que depois dela termina e fica falando só umas caçadas. Como é que tá me irritando? Tá lá no fundo. Pega logo elas. Tá me irritando porque tá bem longe. contraptions did you no well yes but that's not what we want to talk to you about it's miss Mididol. she's been acting strange very strange she's barely ever around when she is she acts like we aren't even there her head's in a crowd in the clouds and that's what i said in the clouds well she does have a lot on her mind when did you last see her um long ago. Ah, right after she got back from saving you from Stone Ear. Then it's probably just about the Enterprise. It did take quite a battering on the way there and back. You didn't break it, did you, Sid? You really should be more careful around Miss Mididol's inventions. Oh, don't listen to her. Even if you did break the Enterprise, you could put it back together, couldn't you? But who's going to put Miss Mididol back together? She seems really sad. Why don't I go and see if I can cheer her up? You do that for us. She's in her dungeon. Don't scare him. Thanks for the warning. Honor to finally speak with you. My name is Herman. I've been with the Curse Breakers for some time now, and uh, I wish to be deployed to Ash. Any assignment will do. No. The lands across the Narrow are too dangerous. I will not send good men and women to risk their lives needlessly. Why would you want to go back? I need to retrieve something. Something important. I was raised. In an orphanage. Badbach Conservatory. Or rather, I was held captive there. It was not a place of nurture. It existed solely to turn bearer children into mindless weapons. We were tortured until we feared no pain. Tormented until our hearts turned to stone. And few ever survived long enough to become tools. Of the last king. I can't imagine. I lost so many. I... I can't even remember all their names. But they must be remembered. They cannot fade away, faceless and forgotten. The Institute was run with military precision. Every child measured. Every name recorded. Every death logged with meticulous care. Sid, allow me to travel to Ash and recover the registry so that my brothers and sisters might live on. You are a good friend, Herman. But the fact remains that Ash is simply too dangerous. Sid, please. Even should it cost me my life. Too dangerous for you, Herman. But not for me. I'll go to Bad Back and find the registry. You will? I won't let you risk your life. I don't know how to thank you. You can start by telling me where I'll find this orphanage. Be the grace. 
hidden in a forest, overlooking the plains. All right. I'll see what I can find there. May the mothers guide you. Ele pega essa missão, começar com a lá de baixo. Mint. Has Mitadol mentioned a new project? Mitadol. Need. If you have a To the skies, nothing will. To the skies? You aren't trying to give the Enterprise wings, are you? What else would I be doing? The children seem to think you're avoiding them. They're worried about you. Is this really so important that you need to shut yourself away from everything? The Enterprise is already the fastest ship in the realm, and that's with the sea beneath her. But what if she weren't bound to the waves? What if she weren't bound to anything at all? It's not fair. The gods get the skies all to themselves, so I'm going to do something about it. The Fallen had their chance, but they relied too much on magic. And see where that got him, but not me. I've discovered how to do it without. Well, almost. First, I need to make a prototype. And is that a one-woman job? Are you volunteering? I'll have you know the Enterprise is my baby. But if her godfather's offering to lend a hand, I'd be happy to take it. First, I'll need oil. And not just some old drippings from Miss Molly's spits in the tub and crown. Refined stuff, like they make in Aldil. Then I'll need some bone, or shell, light. Strong, preferably no longer attached to the beast it belongs to. If it's beast bones you're after, I'm sure the curse breakers will know where you might find some. No, they'll know where you might find some. You're the one who offered to help, remember? I should speak with one of the curse breakers before I set off for Old Hill. Recompensa. Aclamação continental. Se for possível acreditar na capitã bêbada com quem compartilhei uma mesa ontem, os relatos de suas proezas conseguiram cruzar o oceano e chegar ao grande continente. E mais, ela diz que tem pessoas que torcem pelo seu sucesso. E ela é uma delas. Luvas. Aumento dando causa de inimigos em 5%. por cento. All right, Sid. Only if you earn it. Mid needs a piece of light but durable bone for her next project. You've encountered your share of beasts on your travels across the realm. Most bones are the same. Whack them hard enough and they'll break. If it's durability you're looking for, shell will serve you better. You know what an adamantus is? I do. And I know to give them a wide berth. Will any old adamantus do? Well, with shells, the older the harder. There's a rumor of an ancient adamantus down in Carava, near old Bidza. But don't expect to make quick work of the bastard. I'll keep that in mind. So well, after what happened here, it's a miracle there was any left at all.
Och, kann ja jetzt. Das sollte genug Ich habe mein Speck. Tell me this is all you need. Ah, oh, you make it sound like I asked you to save the world or something. Tell me this is all you need. It's most of what I need. After you left, I went over the figures again, and I realized I'd forgotten a one and a zero. <sighs> and? And a cogwheel. Just a tiny one. Though, that's the problem. Gears that smaller are bastard to make, and I may have lost the one Blackthorn spent a fortnight toiling over. Wait. The children. When they took apart your scales, there was a tiny brass gear. Now that I think about it, I... They didn't use it when we put the scales back together. The young'uns? 
But why would the... You know what? I'll keep working on the model. You go and find that cog. Essa parte dessa roda dentro de faz tempo. Has Midadol mentioned a new project yet? Not exactly. Sid, is Mid still hiding from us? She was in hiding. She's just busy working on her next project. A new invention? Is it an airship? Do you think she'll let us help? That just so happens to be why I'm here. She needs something special, some a brass gear, a tiny one. Oh, the one you forgot. We saved it. Just... Mm. Since your lesson, we've been disassembling, then reassembling everything we can find. All the pieces that are left over. That's. Look. I found it. Is that all? Just the gear? We have more parts if Mid needs them. That's all for now. But I'll let Mid know about your hoard. Thanks, Sid. It's somewhere nice and safe. Will it work? It's perfect! What exactly are you going to use it for? Only the most important job of all. The wings aren't going to move on their own. But with the right cog in the right place? Well, you just wait and see. That should do her. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Titan's tits. It wasn't supposed to fly, was it? Of course it was supposed to fly. Wouldn't be much of an airship if it didn't. Honestly. These bloody engines are driving me mad! I was so sure this would be the day she saw it. The Mithril engine was made to make dreams come true. But maybe this is one dream the world's better off without. Show folk how to take flying. It won't be long till they're raining death down on each other. People will lose their homes, children, their mums and their dads. Like I lost mine. I'm sorry. So am I, Clive. So am I. Sorry that I have to choose. Do I follow my head or do I follow my heart? Good question. The first time I stood on the deck of your ship, felt the wind in my hair. It was like I was flying, but imagine how it would feel to actually do it. My dad always said there were two ways of living life. Chasing a dream or shuffling to your grave. And he were right. Right about a lot of things. Not that I like to admit it. People need dreams to chase. Especially in a world like this. Right. When this is over, I'm going to take all my Mithril engines to Zemeckis and sling them over the edge. I won't have my dream end up turning into someone else's nightmare. But all that hard work... All that hard work will not be used for war, Jamie. But it ain't like it'll be gone. Tell me, Clive. Have you ever been on a treasure hunt? 
Not since Joshua and I were boys. Why do you ask? Because I'm going to bury the engine schematics and leave behind a little riddle telling people where to find them. A really hard one. So that only the most dedicated dreamers will ever be able to work it out. <laughs> I can picture it now. Some daft general squinting at the words with a gormless expression on his mug. Like that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. If I'm putting this engine at the end of a treasure hunt, I'll still need to make it a treasure worth hunting for. Won't be much of a prize if it couldn't even make a toy boat fly after all. <sighs> My dad always said, dream big. But it in the size of a dream that's important, is it, Clive? Only that it's a good one. And I reckon I've got a fair few good ones left in me. I'm sure you do. Mission complete. It's in the sky. Ah, yeah, pelo visto, no cavo, quer dizer, essa missão e secundária não vai dar para chegar no nível 50, não? Hum, não preciso subir isso aqui, eu posso muito bem. Você é uma boa experiência. Essa uma galerinha bem aqui. Me conhece por aí. Fly Ambrosia. Aí do lado certo. Obviamente que não. Tree 
This must be the place. Could he really be buried here? There's something hidden among the roots. Let's see. This must be the registry. So many names. This place was a slaughterhouse. And where is the architect of all this misery? It was only a matter of time, I suppose. This place is cursed. I hear that you traveled to Ash. Sid, did you by any chance recover the names of my fallen friends? I did. If I may, the bearer. The director was a brutal man. He got no worse than he deserved. The registry was all I found beneath the tree. There was no sign of a body. Nor any record of what happened to the children after the orphanage closed. I pray that at least some of them survived. 
All their names are here. The ones we lost. My friends. My light in those dark times. I can still remember their faces. Like it was yesterday. Children who were taken from their bunks in the morning. Never to return. No explanation, never. They'd be happy to know that you survived, Herman. But why did I make it out alive? When so many others died in that awful place? It's not your fault. And blaming yourself won't bring them back. One of their memory. See that their names live on. That way, at least. They're never truly gone. Thank you. Sid, I'm going to write a book. An account of the horrors of Badbach. And the spirit of those its custodians sought to crush. All of Valisthea will know of our suffering. And in the name of those I lost, I will not let it happen again. Neither will I. These records would have been buried for all eternity. Were it not for you. Hum, é, vou logo nela. Ela logo com isso. Ah, oh, Clive. Joshua, what's wrong? And don't say nothing. Ah, it's not nothing. I've received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will, or something akin to it. In the crypt, beneath Rosalith Castle, after Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet, and in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but... Would you join me? I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Very well. I'm ready to leave when you are. Grace, my lord, I trust your journey was not overly onerous. Cyril, you found a letter from father. Yes, I have it here. If you would do us the honor, my lord. Meus queridos filhos, sei que estou exigindo muito de vocês nesta guerra que se aproxima, mas não vejo outra forma de garantir um futuro para nosso grão educado e nossa família. Mesmo que vençamos e consigamos derrotar os selvagens e reconquistar o sopro do Draco, a ameaça da praga ainda é eminente, iminente. Só poderemos passar por tudo isso se todos de Rosária lutarem unidos. Tem alguns planos para nos ajudar, mas há muitos obstáculos e vocês provavelmente terão que continuar meu trabalho. Sei que vocês têm a força, a coragem e a determinação. Será uma difícil herança, então lhe ofereço outro. Lembre-se do amor e da confiança que sinto por vocês. Seu pai. An inheritance. It would seem the late Archduke penned this missive shortly before his passing. The day before we left for Phoenix Gate. What are these plans he spoke of? His plans for the duchy, your grace. Your father entrusted them to my predecessor. 
the former bearer of the burning quill, who entrusted them in turn to meet the complete emancipation of bearers. But your father's dream did not end there. His grace also spoke of building hospices to care for those stricken by the curse, and the founding of a new university to further the development of non-magical technologies. With the blight spreading ever more widely across the twins, Archduke Elwyn saw this as the only means of securing Rosaria's survival. He wished to see men and bearers treated as equals, to see centuries of common wisdom overturned. Small wonder he did not think it achievable within his lifetime. But he thought it achievable nonetheless. Nor would he have entrusted his vision to his most faithful aides. Those who would have stood with you. Shielded you from the machinations of the less benevolent personages at court. It's a pity only they are still with us. Hmm. It is true that those most loyal to your father were the first to suffer the Duchess's wrath. But one at least remains, and she has come bearing gifts. What do you mean? Mayhap it is better that she explain, my lord. After all, the duties entrusted to me by my predecessor extended only to recovering his grace's will and arranging a meeting with the one who might execute it, or a part of it, at least. And where is this woman? She awaits you in the archive, your grace. Thank you, Cyril. Shall we then? My lord, your grace, I, I hardly recognize you. I am Goditha, retainer of House Rosfield, loyal servant to the Phoenix and his shields. Your father, the Archduke Elwyn, entrusted me with the delivery of a gift. I only hope you can forgive my tardiness in bringing it to you. Lift up your head, Lady Goditha. You have our gratitude. For your service to our house. I merely did my duty, as any proud Rosarian would. My lady, perhaps you could explain a little more? What exactly is the gift you bring? As I'm sure you know, it has long been the custom for the children of House Rosfield to be presented with certain keepsakes upon their coming of age. Indeed it has. Our father often spoke of the day when our turn would come. And had he lived to see it, he would have presented you with the treasures I bear. Matching armbands for you both. Alas, he did not live. Indeed, he was taken from us even before they could be completed. He had intended to claim the heartstone with which each armband was to be finished himself. But it was not to be and his gifts remain incomplete. I see. It saddens me to bring them before you, as they are. It was your father's wish that you be presented with the finished articles, not these works in progress, but with his grace long since gone and the stone left unclaimed, I had little choice. You are grown men now, and his house is yours. And while I would not presume to insist upon your claiming the heartstone in his stead, I know that nothing would have pleased him more than for you to do so. Thank you, Lady Goditha. What say you, Clive? What else? Of course, my lady. May our father's will be done. Oh, I am much obliged. Do you know where we might find this heartstone, my lady? I do, though it may be a matter of a good deal more than simply happening upon it. It is found in the bellies of Elder Griffins, you see. We do at least know where to find one. A certain specimen has made its nest in Titan's Wake, not far from here. A certain specimen? 
You are most perceptive, Your Grace. In answer to your unspoken question, yes. In fact, this is the very same beast your father meant to slay. I have been tracking its movements since you were but a boy. Were you to slay it in his stead, as men of House Rosfield, it would surely make your father proud. What say you, Joshua? What else? Good girl. Run like the wind. Eyes peeled, Joshua. There it is. For House Rossfield. Oh, thank the founder you were safe. The Griffin is slain then? And the Heartstone claimed. Yes, 
This radiant luster, like frozen flame, it is just as your father described it. Thank you, my lord. Your grace, your father would be so proud. Lady Goddatha, the lapidary is ready. Thank you, Cyril. I will be with him shortly. If you would excuse me, I shall have the stone cut and set forthwith. The armbands are complete. Pray, take them. They are yours, after all. Heartstone is harder and more enduring than garnet, or even ruby. It symbolizes unwavering will and devotion. And the graven vines encircling the stone represent the unbreakable bonds between you. It's a message. Father knew we had enemies both inside and outside the duchy. Enemies who would thwart his vision. Only with unwavering devotion would it ever be realized. And only if we stood together, as Phoenix and Shield, as brothers in arms, only then might those enemies be overcome. Indeed. His grace knew the enormity of the task he would entrust to you, his heirs. But this was more than just a message. It was a promise. That he would always be with you. Thank you, Lady Goddatha, for remaining the steadfast custodian of our father's will. Forgive me, my lady, but there is something I don't quite understand. The Undying told me that after father died, mother claimed all of the ducal treasures for her own. Even if the armbands were incomplete, she would surely not have overlooked them. So, how were you able to keep them from her? Because I was the keeper of the vault. Though I was but a lowly servant, your father spoke to me of his intentions for the bands, of the deep love he had for both of you, and his hopes for your future. In the days before the disaster at Phoenix Gate, I discovered that the Duchess had ordered her jewelry be sent away from the castle. It was then that I knew she meant to betray us. I tried to warn your father, but it was too late. When word of the fire reached Rosalith, I knew my time was short. So I took up the armbands and I fled into the night. And thank the Founder you did. Yet my duty to your father was incomplete. Not knowing what else to do, I followed the Griffin, thinking I might claim the Heartstone on its passing. And so my pursuit continued. Until Lord Cyril appeared before me. He informed me that His Grace's will had been recovered. And that his sons were alive and well. Lady Goddatha, on behalf of my father and all the people of Rosaria, I thank you for your loyal service. As do I. Thank you, my lord. Your grace, for coming back to us. For giving my service meaning. Bands suit you well. It must be gratifying to finally receive the inheritance that was denied you for so long. It is. <laughs> and we thank you for the part you played, Cyril. <laughs> if you would permit me to play my part a little longer, might I suggest that you make your way to your father's memorial atop Hawk's Cry Cliff? Let him see that you have received his blessing and that his vision lives on in you. I suppose it would be churlish not to. What do you say, Clive? Shall we pay your father a visit? I think we should. I was hoping to be able to offer him my thanks before we left for Origin. Your father's helm is enshrined there. It has been since, since the day we recovered it from Phoenix Gate. I prithee claim it, for it too is a part of your inheritance, and I do not doubt that your father would prefer it in your hands than perched upon some lonely rock. Thank you, Cyril. Come on, Clive. He's waiting.
Let's go. Unwavering will and an unbreakable bond. Do you really think we're strong enough? To save the world? Of course. To have overcome father's political enemies. Of that I'm less certain. Especially knowing what we know now. What mother was truly capable of. But perhaps these bands would have helped. with us would have made all the difference it's just back there Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. And I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself. Even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, father, if I may. That you might watch over us as we follow in your footsteps. <laughs> down. Onward then? Onward. To the end. And to a new beginning. Joshua entrou para o grupo de Clive permanecerá com ele até a partida para a origem. É, se eu soubesse, eu teria botado ele. Feito logo essa missão no início. No início que eu digo isso dessas missões secundárias. Mas não é problema por causa que tá vindo aí as, as caçadas, então. Beleza, meu povo, então é isso. Eu vou parando por aqui. A gente se vê em breve com mais Final Fantasy.